Hi. So there's a problem that I think could use solving in the editor of Unreal Engine, including for that I think is pretty broadly experienced by designers, but which is difficult to articulate and often dismissed. So I decided to make a video about it. This issue isn't a deal breaker, and I think UE4 is still the best engine out there by far, but I've seen this brought up a lot on Unreal Engine forums over the years, and it always gets shouted down. This problem isn't at all unique to Unreal, but Unity has plugins to work around it. Basically, the problem is that while there are tools to construct level geometry in Unreal, these tools are not robust when compared with those of Quake 1. For this video, I'm using the source engine level editor, but it's the same thing. Hammer is not a good modern level editor, but it has excellent tools for very quickly creating, editing, and texturing geometry. Unreal does not. This is easily fixed if someone at Epic decides to do it, it's just a user experience problem that's never been prioritized as far as I can tell. With some exceptions, it's not that Hammer contains a particular feature that Unreal doesn't, Hammer just implements everything in a way that is faster and simpler to use. For the record, that is not true of anything in Hammer except for geometry editing. A brush in Hammer can be grabbed and moved at any point, not just by its pivot. It doesn't even have a pivot, so you don't get the pivot forgetting where it needs to be and floating off into space like you do in Unreal. It has handles on the corners and edges that work it like a drag to resize marquee. You just drag out the brush that you want. You click once on it to get rotate handles on the corners, you click again to get skew handles on the sides so you can skew the brush, you shift drag to copy the brush. Vertex manipulation is its own mode because you relatively rarely want to move individual vertices on a brush. Edges aren't individually selectable because between the marquee and vertex modes it's redundant. Obviously none of this is groundbreaking stuff, but it's all stuff that Unreal does much more clumsily, much less reliably, invariably in more clicks and probably more crashes. The texturing tools are also way ahead in Hammer. You can very, very quickly stretch a texture to a face on only one axis, keeping the other one proportionate. You can justify left, right, top, bottom, or center. Obviously rotate and shift arbitrarily. Shift right click copies texture setup between faces, which lets you easily UV curved roads and things like that. You can even set up smoothing groups for brushes in there. Most of this, not all of it, is in UE4, but the UI for it is bad and gets reset every time you select a surface. So, Epic and Unreal Engine users generally have long responded to this criticism along the lines of just model all your geometry in a 3D art tool and import it. Here's why that is a dumb argument. Firstly, it's just not a solution to the problem. If the problem is it is not quick and easy enough to perform this simple task that I should be able to do, the solution is not to ask the user to learn another piece of complicated and probably expensive software and rely on a time-consuming edit-export-import loop for every piece of level geometry in their game. Secondly, and this is maybe the most important point, it requires the designer to be a 3D artist, if not necessarily a good one. UE4 wants to position itself as an accessible tool which empowers users to create games in the absence of exhaustive technical knowledge, see blueprints, so go use Maya is ignoring the problem. Obviously the other reason is that this has been a solved problem in level editors since at least 1996. I'm not saying that CSG is always the way to go, it's not but it was a lot easier to make a case for issuing it entirely when Unreal was primarily licensed by large studios. If it's been good enough for Valve as recently as Portal 2 and CSGO, it's probably good enough for most indie teams. This isn't even going into how much modular mesh-based level design removes agency and efficiency from level designers who aren't competent artists, but you get the point. So that's my rant about level editors, as you were.